Okay, mortgages payable are, is another type of long-term liability. The difference is that these type of liability uh, typically happens if a company wants to purchase um, long-term assets, specifically property type of asset, land, building. Oftentimes they sign a contract on mortgage payable agreeing that if later on for some reason they're not able to pay back the fund on time, usually mortgages are paid every single month, a fixed amount every single month. For some reason they're not able to pay the money on time, the other party who signed the contract with you has the right to transfer the assets title to them. Okay, my company purchased a building and land together, a group purchase, sign a mortgage payable. I would pay incremental little by little of principal and interest every single month. But if there's one month that I'm not able to pay the money, and if it over basically passes the grace period, then the other party has the right to transfer the title of my building and land to them. Okay, so it's backed up by assets. So this type of debt is backed up by um, assets, security interest in specific property. So legal title of the specific asset will transfer if the mortgage is not paid on time. They have the right to do so. So this is different from short-term notes and long-term notes. Usually those type of liabilities are not backed up by assets. Okay, so if we compare this to long-term notes again, mortgages is backed up by um, property. Long-term notes payable doesn't have this characteristic. They do have similarities in the sense of the current portion part. So mortgages, whenever we sign it off, we also estimate in the following year what is the part that will be paid off. And we also reclassify a part of mortgage payable into current portion of mortgage payable. Okay, so this relationship here is similar to long-term notes payable. They do a reclassification of the part that will be due next year. Mortgage payable, we do the same thing. Okay, we sign off a dollar amount and then we reclassify a part into short term, into the current portion of mortgage payable. Okay, so we're going to take a look at a table, how it actually works. Mortgage is a little bit more complicated because the fixed amount that we paid on a monthly basis breaks down to a part that we're paying by principal, a part that we're paying by interest, and it's not a fixed amount like how we calculate long-term notes payable. Long-term notes, we just use the principal full times the yearly interest rate times the month. This part is easy to understand for long-term notes. The principal amount in full, later on you reduce perhaps $40,000. For mortgage, the structure is a little different from short-term and long-term notes. Okay, the principal amount is constantly changing on a monthly basis. Okay, so, and keep in mind, mortgage payments usually are done monthly basis and it's a fixed amount. But mortgage payment, that fixed amount on a monthly basis breaks down to principal payment and interest payment. But what is the amount for principal and what is the amount for interest every single month is a little different. But this part is a fixed dollar amount of payment. What goes into this, what goes into this is a little different on a monthly basis. Okay, so the table we're going to show in the next slide is called amortization schedule. The amortization schedule basically is similar to the idea of depreciation, we're spreading along mortgage along each and every month and then on, also on a yearly basis. So it shows that which part of mortgage payable is being paid, which part of interest expense is being paid. 